here with Robin Buck, driver of the number 66 Quaker State Durability Dodge, winner of the GP3 100 uh, this season. Talk about your race today on a wet racetrack, Robin. Well, it was pretty interesting. Um, you know, we weren't quite sure how the weather was going to go, and then when it started the race, uh, we knew that uh, it was going to be interesting because a lot of the guys don't have a lot of experience in the rain, and uh, it was going to be a matter of just being patient. And at the start, it was kind of different because a couple of guys just seen to back right off, and others tried to go for it, and I was just passing a few cars, and just going, this is kind of interesting. So I just ran my own pace, and you know, by lap four, I think we were in the in second, and then um, took the lead, I think around lap six, and then that was it and uh, just wanted to pace myself not to make any mistakes or too many mistakes that was going to cost me i.e. spinning out or going down a runoff road but uh, you know the game the name of the game when you race in the rain is looking for traction and trying to find it and you're always stepping over that boundary and uh, hopefully you don't step over it to the point where it uh, takes you out you talk about uh, racing in the rain you've raced a lot of different race cars on a lot of different racetracks all over the place um, what what have you learned about racing in the rain as, as, as your career has gone along? Well, you've got to be very careful. Uh, you really have to use a lot of finesse and, uh, you know, look for traction, know what the car likes, um, and just be patient with the car. Let the car do what it wants to do and, uh, and try and get it hooked up. This is your second win of the season. You won earlier in the year at ICAR. Um, you've always been a factor in all these road course events in, in, the, in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. But this year, I mean, you've been right up front all the way along. What's, what's been the difference for you guys? Well, we, we finally decided we were going to take my oval car, which I've been racing as a road race car for the last number of years, and turn it into a true road race car. So we cut all the front suspension out, put all the proper pickup points, all the stuff that you need for road course, and uh, went with an engine program, the spec motor, which we knew was going to be really reliable and um, just focused in on that so that's been the biggest thing is making the car so I owe a great uh, a lot of gratitude to uh, Al Haringa at uh, JDS, JDH Custom uh, Rod and Custom who did all the work who's who's known me for a long time and, uh, and he's uh, he's been really good at helping me set the car up in fact right. he sets it up all right thanks a bunch congratulations thanks